Welcome to Steve's Math Tutoring. I'll be discussing the measuring tape and how to read it. It's very important. I'll be using some graphics I've just learned this week, so bear with me and enjoy and hope you learn something from it. Thank you. I'm going to start with a 0 to 1. There's one equal part there, so I'll make a line in between it and I'm going to call the first one 1 half and the second part this will be 2 over 2. Now I'm going to divide again into four equal parts. So I make a line here and I put a line in the second here. First one's called 1 over 4. The second one is called 2 over 4 which is equal to 1 half. Then this one is, the next one's called 3 over 4. And the last one is equal to 4 over 4, which is also equal to 1. Next, I'm going to divide it again, equal parts, in between each one. So in between the 1 fourth and 1 half, and I'll be, make a line in between here, and another one between 3 fourths and 1. So the first one here, 8 equal parts, the first one's called 1 eighth, the next one was called two weights, which is also equal to one fourth. The next one will be called three fourths, uh, three eighths, sorry. The next one will be called four eighths, which is also equal to one half. The next one will be going to be called five eighths. And the next one will be called six eighths, which is also equal to three quarter. The next one will be seven eighths, which, and the last one will be also named 8 8 which is equal to 1. Now we're going to divide every section again. Equal parts. And between 3 8 and 1 half and between 1 half and 5 8 and between 5 eighths and 3 quarters and 3 quarters and 7 eighths and the last between 7 eighths and 1 inch. Now the first one is called 1 16. The next one is called 2 16. It's also called 1 8. Next one is called 3 16. The next one is called 4 sixteenths, which is also equal to 1 fourth those terms. And 5 sixteenths, 6 sixteenths, 7 sixteenths, 8 sixteenths, which is also equal to 1 half those terms. 9 sixteenths. 10 sixteenths, which is also equal to 5 eighths, 11 sixteenths, 12 sixteenths, then 13 sixteenths, 14 sixteenths, which is also equal to 7 eighths, and 15 sixteenths, which is very close to an inch. The last one would be 16 over 16. Now these are the measurements of a tape. Now let's review them again. 0 to 1. Now right in the middle there I'll put 1 half. The next one is 2 over 2 but we're not going to write it. It's already called 1. Then we'll split it again to 4 equal parts. Now the first one is missing it's 1 over 4, then 2 fourths, then 3 fourths, and 4 fourths, but we don't have to write that one. We'll split them again in 8 equal parts. Now, the first one is called 
one eight, two eight, then three eight, four eight, five eight. And the last one would be seven eight. Now we're going to split them again into sixteen equal parts. one here right in between so the first one's called that'll be a hint 1 over 16 we skip another one then we call this 3 over 16 we skip one we'll call this 5 16 we skip another one we'll call this 7 16 skip another one 9 16 which is a little over one half. The next one over here will be 11 16 13 16 and the last one will be 15 16 Thank you. And this is how you do read a measuring tape.